This is how you can make an auto reaction system for your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you'll get access to that source code, and over on Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you'll also get access to that source code, and of course, on both platforms. If you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video. So we can go ahead and start by going over to our schemas.js and we can go ahead and create our reactor schema.js right here. We're going to go ahead and define our guild as a string, a channel as a string, and our emoji as a string. So just go ahead and create a schema exactly like this. If you don't have MongoDB set up, go ahead and watch the guide in the description below. So after doing that, we can go over to moderation and we can go ahead and create reactor.js. And here we can do const. We're going to get our slash command builder and we can get our permissions bit field and we can also to get our embed builder and then we could do equals require and we can go ahead and get our discord.js package then we can do const reactor equals require we can do dot dot slash dot dot slash schemas and we can get our reactor schema then we can do module dot exports we can do equals we're going to open this up we can get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name which is going to be reactor and we can go ahead and set a description and we can say manage your reactor system then we can go ahead and add a sub command we're going to do command arrow function command asset name this is going to be set up and then we can go ahead and set a description in here we can say set up your auto reactor system then we can go ahead and add a string option and we can do option arrow function we can do option dot set name this is going to be our emoji and we can go ahead and set a description we can go ahead and say the emoji you want to auto react with and we can go ahead and set required we're going to go ahead and make that true then after doing that we can go ahead and add a channel option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be our channel. We can go ahead and set a description. We can go ahead and say the channel you want your auto reactor system to be in. And we can go ahead and set required. We're going to go ahead and make that false. Then we can go ahead and create another sub command. This time we can do command arrow function command set name. And this is going to be disable. And we can go ahead and set a description. And we can go ahead and say disable your auto reactor for one channel. And then we can go ahead and add a channel option. We can do option arrow function option set name. We're going to go ahead and get our channel. And we can go ahead and set a description we can go ahead and say the channel to remove from the auto reactor and we can also go ahead and set required here and this time we're going to go ahead and make it true because we do need a channel for that command and we can do add sub command one more time we can do command arrow function command a set name this time we're going to go ahead and get remove all we can go ahead and set a description and we can say remove all of your auto reactor channels in the entire server and we can go ahead and add a comma here we can do async executes we can go ahead and get our interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up in here we can do const we're going to go ahead and get our options and we can set that to our interaction then we can say if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has and we can go ahead and get our permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator then we can just go ahead and return await interaction dot reply and we can say contents and we can say only admins can use this command and we can go ahead and set informal on that message to true and we can do const channel equals options dot get channel that is going to be our channel and we can do or and we can do our interaction dot channel then we can do const sub equals options that get sub command and then after doing that we can do const data equals await reactor dot find a one this is going to be our guild, which is going to be our interaction.guild.id. We can also get our channel, which is going to be our channel.id. Then we can go ahead and switch. We can go ahead and get our sub, and we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get our case, which is going to be set up. Then down here, we can go ahead and say if data. We can go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and return await interaction.reply. We can say content, and we can say you already have this system set up for, and we can go ahead and get our channel. And we're going to go ahead and set informal to true as well. Then we can go ahead and say else, and we can open this up. We can do const emoji. A equals options that get string and that is going to be our emoji string and we can also do await reactor dot create we can go ahead and open this up we're going to get our guild which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot id get our channel which is going to be our channel.id, and we can also get our emoji, which is going to be our emoji. Then after doing that, we can go ahead and create our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And in here, we can go ahead and set a color. This is going to be blue. And we can go ahead and set a description. And I'm going to go ahead and open up an emoji here. I'm going to go ahead and get the staff emoji just like that. In here, we can say the auto reactor system has been enabled for, and we can go ahead and get our channel variable. And then we can go ahead and send this. We can do await interaction.reply. 
and we can go ahead and get our embeds and we can also get our embed and we're going to go ahead and set this message to infermal so that only the person who uses the command can see it and after doing that we can go ahead and break and we're going to get our case which is going to be disabled we can go down and add a colon here we can say if no data we're going to go ahead and open this up we can return await interaction to reply we can say contents and we can say you don't already have this system set up yet for channel and we can go ahead and set informal on this message to true. And we can go ahead and say else. We can open this up. We can do await reactor dot delete many. This is going to be our guild, which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot id. And get our channel, which is going to be our channel dot id. Then we can go ahead and create our embed. But we already have one right here, so we can actually just go ahead and copy this. We're going to copy the embed and the send message. We can go ahead and paste that down here. And in here, we can go ahead and replace this. We're going to go ahead and say the auto reactor system has been disabled for and we can go ahead and get our channel just like that so it's going to basically tell them that the auto reactor system has been disabled for that channel that they inputted in before so then after doing that we can go ahead and create a remove all so we can do break and we can get case which is going to be remove all and then down here we can go ahead and start by saying const removed data equals await reactor to find one and this is going to be our guild which is going to be our interaction that guild id now the difference here is for the data, we actually went ahead and inputted that channel, but because the remove all does not have a channel, because it's going to go ahead and remove it from the entire server, not one specific channel, we just have to go ahead and check the server. So then we can do if no, remove data. We can go ahead and open this up and say return await interaction or apply and get contents. And in here, we can go ahead and say it looks like the system has not already been set up yet in this server. And we can go ahead and set infermal to true on that message. That's basically saying that if none of the channels have the auto reactor system, then it's going to return and do nothing because it can't delete something that doesn't exist. And we can say else. We're going to go ahead and open this up. We can do await reactor dot delete many. And this is going to be our guild, which is going to be our interaction dot guild dot ID. Uh, again, the difference here is we're going to be deleting it for the guild, so everything with the guild ID and not that specific channel ID. So after doing that, we can actually go ahead and copy the embed and the embed send message, and we can go ahead and put that down there, and we can go ahead and replace the description here. So in here, we can say the auto reactor system has been disabled for the entire server. And we can go ahead and keep it as the send, just like that. So after doing that, we can go ahead and close out of that. And we can go over into our index.js. And we're going to go to the very bottom here. So right here, we can go ahead and say reactor, just so we know what we're doing. And then in here, we can go ahead and start by doing const reactor equals require. And we can go ahead and do dot slash. We can go ahead and get our schemas. And we can go ahead and get our reactor schema. We can do client dot on. We can go ahead and get events dot message create. And we can do async message. We can go ahead and open this up. In here, we're going to do const data equals await reactor dot find one. This is going to be our guild, which is going to be our message dot guild dot id this time. And for our channel, this is going to be our message dot channel dot id. So then after doing that, we can go ahead and say if no data, we can just go ahead and return and do nothing. And then we can say else, we can go ahead and open that up. In here, we're going to say if, and we can do message dot author dot bots. We can go ahead and return. Now that is optional, but for me, if a bot sends a message in the channel, I don't want it to react. So we can just go ahead and return and do nothing. And then down here, we can go ahead and do message react and we can go ahead and get our data dot emoji and then we can go ahead and catch an error here so we can catch error we can go ahead and open that up now we're actually going to go ahead and make this an async error so that we can use await inside of this and we can do const owner equals await message dot guild dot members dot cache dot gets and we can go ahead and get our message dot guild dot owner id then we can do await owner dot send we can go ahead and get our contents and we can say hello there it looks like i have found an error with the reactor system for your server and we can go ahead and input our message that guild that name and i'm actually going to go ahead and bold that name so that it's clear in that message after doing that we can go ahead and say and i thought i would bring it to your attention and then we can go ahead and open up our backslash tick and we can actually go ahead and put that error in there and that's actually all we have to do for the send so the reason we're doing that is because it's possible that the emoji doesn't exist they put in not a valid emoji or a valid emoji that's not within the server or a server that a bot has access to. So then it's gonna go ahead and try to react, but it's not gonna be able to. So we can go ahead and send ADM to the owner just to make sure that they know that their reactor system isn't working and the reason that it's not working. So then after doing that, we are actually done with this entire system. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out. So we can go ahead and start by doing reactor. And as you can see, we have our setup, disable and remove all. 
Now, we also do have it for a brand new project I've been working on, and it is public now. It's in public beta. If you'd like to add automate to your servers, go ahead and click the link in the description to do so. Uh, it's going to basically have everything automated, so automated reactions, automated welcome messages, basically everything you could think of. So if you're interested, go ahead and click the link in the description. So now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and set this up. So we can do setup, and I'm going to go ahead and get a valid emoji this time. So we can just go ahead and choose an emoji that the server's in. Let's just go ahead and do this one, the partner one. And we can go ahead and send it. And as you can see, it's going to say the auto reactor system has been enabled for the vids channel. Now, another thing you could do is you could put the emoji in the embed. I did forget to do that, but it's still going to work fine. That's just up to you. So what we can go ahead and do is we can test this out by sending a message. So hello. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and react with that partner emoji. So every single message I send in here, it's going to go ahead and get a reaction. Now, if we go over into a different channel and I send a message, as you can see, it's not going to get a reaction. Now, let's go ahead and try to disable this. So we can go ahead and do reactor and we can go ahead and disable. So we can go ahead and get our channel and we can go ahead and send it and it's going to go ahead and disable. So let's go ahead and reset it up this time. This time we're going to go ahead and use an emoji from a server that I know the bot is not in. So we can just go ahead and get the acorn emoji here. It's going to go ahead and say it's set up, but if I go ahead and send a message, it's not going to react and I'm going to go ahead and get a DM because I am the owner. It's going to say hello there. It looks like I found an error with the reaction system for your server and it's going to go ahead and give me the error saying unknown emoji. So the bot does not know which emoji it's trying to react to. So every time a message is sent with it in that channel, I'm going to go ahead and get a DM. So that way, then the owner will come back in here and then they can go ahead and do reactor disable and they can do vids. They can go ahead and send it and then now I'm not going to get another DM. So one other thing, this does actually work with default emojis. So I can just go ahead and do a blushing emoji. I don't know why that's there, but we can go ahead and set it up and it is going to work with that emoji as well. So that's so you can code an advanced auto reactor system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with that, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.